Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing fine. Today we'll see how to present your 3D model on the browser using React app. If you visit my website subbits.com, you'll see that I have already posted this article a while ago. And in this tutorial, I will show you the step-by-step -step process based on this article. So let's start. I'm starting from a basic React project and it is just a simple React project. In fact, uh, I have another article on my website that you can follow to get the exact same starting project just like mine. I don't want to display the 3D model on the landing page, so let's create another page or route, you can say. We can call this page modelviewer.jsx. We can simply copy the content of this page from the About Us page. Let's change the name of the function to model page and also update the title of the page to 3D model viewer. Since we have just created the page and we haven't imported this page to any route yet, so we cannot see this page on the browser yet. Now let's navigate to the app.jsx and import the page that we just created. We can write import model page since we have exported the function as model page. Next, duplicate one route, change the path to 3D model. So now, when a user visit 3D model route, they will see the model page. Since our app is already running, we can just edit the URL and visit slash 3D model and you will see the page render on the browser as expected. Let's navigate to my website again. We have completed the step one. In the next step, we need to install a couple of packages. The first one is 3JS, the code package for working with 3D. The next one is to write 3JS code using TypeScript. Then the React 3 Fiber, which is the code package of 3JS for React. And finally, Dre which includes useful component for React 3 Fiber. Let's copy the command and run the command. Great, all the packages are now installed. Uh, now we need a 3D model. Uh, for demonstration, we can download the model that I have listed on my website. I'll use the 1K version of this model and let's download the 3D model. Store it in a folder named 3D model inside the public directory. Now let's navigate to the 3D model folder using terminal. Since we are already in the project directory, we can run public slash 3D model. Once inside, we can use the command npx gltf jsx followed by the name of the 3d model file as you can see that while writing the command codium copilot is trying to help me i think you can give it a shot because it is pretty good optionally we can use the dash dash draco flag to compress textures it is optional the command will generate a new file uh, with the same name as the model in the same directory let's open the generated file there are lots of red colors i can see uh, you don't have to worry because one of my extension is not working that is the reason of this mess Anyway, uh, on the line 13, you will notice function is exported as a generic name, which is model. This is actually a bad practice. So let's rename it something meaningful. On my website, I have uh, renamed it as flying car. So we can use the same name here. Now we can import this function as flying car. Since this is a component file and it should not belong in the public folder, right? Uh, so let's create a new folder inside the components folder and 
name it as 3D model. Now let's move the component here. After moving, let's open the file. Here you can see we need to update the useGLTF function path. By default, it points to the public folder. So we just need to prepend 3D model to the path. Now it is navigating to the correct location. If you navigate to my website, you can see that I have mentioned this step too. Also, if you scroll down, you can see we have to update this path too. We can simply copy the path from the top, fun UGLT function and then paste uh, here. Now we need to create a boilerplate for displaying the 3D model. Let's close all the tab and navigate to our main page file and we'll create our boilerplate here. Again, if you navigate to my website, you can see I have listed all the steps that we have to follow. In the page component, we'll first import the canvas component from React Fiber. We'll also need camera control and perspective camera. Let's import those as well. Since both of those components are function, so we have to import those inside the Kali process. And you can see my copilot is already suggesting me. If you now refresh the page, you can see nothing because we have just completed the import. Uh, now we have to use those inside the HTML part of our page. As you can notice already that I am using Tailwind to style my component. Uh, so let's do the same thing that I have listed on my website. Uh, and I'm going to do the same style for this demonstration too. Let's add 700 pixel to the div. This will be the height of our canvas because I'll be using inside this div. Uh, let's add some basic style with margin and round corner. Our basic style is ready as you can see on the browser. Let's navigate to my website and you can see I have used the canvas and other component inside this div. So we can write those down one by one. Uh, let's add camera and camera control inside the canvas component. So now we have perspective camera and camera control, uh, but we don't have the 3D model yet. The 3D model that we have created and exported as flying car. Let's import the flying car. Import. Since a uh, flying car is a function, so we must wrap the flying car inside the Kali process. And then from the location. Now the 3D model is imported. Now we have to use the 3D model inside the canvas. So let's uh, use the 3D model inside the canvas and save. And all of a sudden, the 3D model is appeared, but it is black. It is because we haven't used any light yet. We don't have any light in the scene. So if you visit my blog, you can see I have used ambient light. So let's use the ambient light inside the canvas. Let's open the tag and it is a m p i e n t l i g a s t and i think i have made some mistake let me check and yes the l should be capital let's check on the browser and the 3d model appeared the light is now available on the scene but it is not as expected so let's uh, increase the intensity of ambient light uh, and it is very easy and you can see my Copilot is trying to help me. Let's add intensity. You can start with 5 or maybe 10 or 0 0.5 maybe. I think 0 0.5 is darker. 
let's use the intensity of 1. I'm not happy with this result. I want to improve it even further. If you navigate to Sketchfab quickly, and you can see all the reflection is all over the curve. If we want that type of lighting and reflection, we have to use a virtual environment for lighting the car and it is available inside dre so let's uh, import the environment from dre on our code base now let's use the environment we can place environment anywhere inside the canvas it doesn't actually matter let's save and you can see there is nothing on the browser and it is causing an error too actually the environment component requires at least one image to act as the lighting source of the scene which you can notice on my blog post too in my blog post i have used apartment as the input of preset which is the actual image so let's use the preset and my auto copilot is suggesting city so let's go with the city and you can see the reflection is appeared on the model however you can see uh, we are having an error this actually happened because we have missed one step which is using the suspense from react suspense in react is great for loading heavy thing like our 3d model it lets the 3d model load slowly without freezing the whole app so that it feels smoother to use so that's why we have to use suspense we can open and close suspense tag and keep our 3d model inside the suspense tag let's now save and reload the browser and you can see the 3d model is now appeared without any error now it is not required that you have to use city or apartment always we have couple more options too uh, you can even uh, visit the official documentation to see the complete list that are available for us to use uh, you can have apartment city dawn forest etc so you can use any of those let's use park and you can see the lighting is changed now but i don't think it is as good as city we actually have another option that is called background and if you set the background to true the environment file that we have used will be visible so in this case the park is visible as the background now you might be thinking that what if we want to use our custom hdr file as the background that is also possible let me show you how you can use custom hdr file as the background so create a folder inside the public folder and name it as hdr i'm going to paste one of my hdr in this folder there are many free hdr available online you can just search free hdr and navigate to polyheaven.com and here if you navigate to asset and then hdr you can see a huge list of hdr you can download anything from here and use on your project let's now use the custom hdr that we have downloaded uh, if you navigate to my website uh, you can see there is a parameter which is files and inside the files i have added the path of the hdr file so we'll do the same thing in our code page uh, let's remove preset and add another parameter as files uh, then we can provide the file path of our custom hdr we have to provide the file path inside the quotation mark by default react always points to the public directory so when input the file path we can skip the public folder so we can just write backslash then hdr and then the file name let's not write the whole file name let's just copy the file name and paste now save and check the result on the browser and you can see our custom hdr is appeared on the browser let's keep the both option open uh, duplicate the code for the second one let's remove the files parameter and activate the preset and now we can quickly switch 
between our custom HDR and the default preset environment file. For this 3D model, I think the CT is the good option. So let's activate that. And we can improve the scene even further by adding another parameter, which is called ground projection. And let's copy the code and paste on our code base. And all of a sudden you can see the model is sitting on the ground plane. So what it did is project the environment file on the ground plane so that it feels like that our model is on the top of the ground and it is actually amazing that how quickly we can improve our scene from a basic scene to something this cool. I would strongly suggest you to play with this setting and see if you can come up with interesting result and i think that is the end of this tutorial and thank you for staying with me keep making good stuff